Okay, so what do I mean by inefficient here? Let me draw you a picture so you can see uh, exactly what I'm talking about. Because right now I'm just making that claim to you, uh, and I want to show you that it's true. Okay, so let's look at the market. Let's look at an example. Okay, so coal generated electricity. In this example, draw Google Graph demand and supply prices. Now, don't write it yet because we're going to relabel these, okay? What we're going to do now is we're going to draw an extra region on this graph okay, that represents the farm. Okay, so this is our intercept of our demand curve N, and our intercept of our supply curve N, and this vertical distance here is going to be equal to the Okay, so D equals damage or harm to outsiders from each unit of power production. Maybe that's something like uh, megawatt hours or something like that. Okay, so what's happening now is we're going to change our notation here because we're going to see that the market is actually not maximizing the total surplus. Okay, so total surplus here now with the, with the additional stakeholder. So total surplus, right, is going to be consumer surplus and I'm going to put little U's on these to say unregulated and this is foreshadowing because these are not going to be the optimal values okay plus uh, not a plus oh. can erase here unlike in lecture easily oh. okay minus oh. Q U times D. Okay, so this is the total surplus in the unregulated case. Consumer surplus plus producer surplus minus the quantity. Okay, so this is going to be Q U here on the graph. No. And we call this P. Okay. U is for unregulated. Okay, these prices and quantities are no longer optimal. Okay, these were uh, P star and Q star, right, before the midterm. Okay, and you can see directly, right? These are where the curves cross. So this QU, this used to be called Q star. Used to be Q star before we recognized the outside stakeholders. Okay. Used to be Q star. Okay, 
So why are these suboptimal? This is the key question that we all want to know the answer to. Why am I telling you that these are suboptimal? Why am I telling you that there's nothing wrong? Well, the answer is we can do a thought experiment in which we lower the quantity and we can say to ourselves, will this increase the, so the total surplus? Okay, and I'll show you this visually on this graph and then we'll do it more in the next video. So why suboptimal? And the answer is that if you go here and look at this graph, you can see that if we lower the quantity, if we lower the quantity, then we can save a lot more damage than the lost surplus. Okay, so let's let's put a mark here on the graph so you can see it. Okay, and why is that? Why is it suboptimal? Well, because if we lower the quantity here, we lose only surplus to the market participants, but we save a very large amount of damage to people outside the market. Why suboptimal? Because reducing QU a small amount results in more benefit to outsiders than the market participants will lose. Okay, and what that means in particular is that our that our optimal quantity will be the one where those are in balance. So optimal Q star will no longer have that property.